Hey guys and welcome to another quick episode of 20 minutes speed composing today with the trailer ambient tools by Wavelet Audio. It's a very little sound pack currently free to download so give the developer a visit I'll put a link into the description and let's have a quick listen to what we are doing today and then jump right into Cubase and start the composing. <laughs> Okay, so I've just loaded in here the trailer ambient tools. Uh, three instruments come with this pack. That would be the first would be the trailer piano here. The second one would be the uh, trailer piano signals. Um, then a guitar bow. Uh, the sound pack here also comes with the um, download bird. You have to. Um, Put them in your own contact instruments so just browse to your folder sound design then you've got these um, wave files here and you can just drag them into a new instrument i'll just show you how that works double click here then go into this um, tool here then just select what you want and drag it in so we've got that on the f uh, then what I did was go into the wave editor, put on the Time Machine Pro and the grid, uh, so it zooms to your uh, tempo you've set in your DAW, which would be Cubase in my case. Okay, I'll just delete this, and then let's just give it a go. Um, some trailer music, or rather some soundscapey trailer music. We'll see how uh, the sounds where they'll take us. So. D minor is basically my favorite key. <laughs> Compose quite a lot in that, also in the uh, recent videos. Let's start with that. Okay, so I think I'll pitch this down 12. Yeah. just leave it um, at this stake so we'll just uh, move some stuff around here at the beginning whoop no I shouldn't have played that note okay let's just pull that back so what do we have here trailer piano signals yeah well We'll go into that one here. Let's just bring up the color. Okay, well quantize that and we'll copy that then we'll just compose the ending here ok 
good yeah why not so bring out this color here and quantize this little baby here and then we'll just um stick it together oh nice i like that atmospheric one that way so let's just match the melody so we've got DEF quite basic let's just add that to the to that one here and then let's um, go into the instrument settings so we've got 12k release time which is far too much Let's um, pull back the attack here and see how that sounds. So, off to the sound pack. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, okay, that's quite loud. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I could imagine this at the beginning, like a boom sound. So, this is key... which key is... That should be a D. Let's see. Quantize this, then we'll um, duplicate that through the rest of the track, I guess. Um, yeah, I should have adjusted the color right at the beginning, but yeah, this is the way it is. Let's um, adjust the EQ. Not too much bass here. Let's um, step into the EQ again. Which frequency is that here? Yeah, I want that one. So this is quite an EQ. Maybe um, change this. Yeah, why not? Okay, next one would be... Which sound do we go for now? Oh, nice. can use that as a rise at the beginning. And maybe uh, put a shit ton of reverb onto that, just to make the tail a little bit longer. So let's put some reverb in the insert. So choose a preset. Let's use something big like a 
church or something far away three seconds orchestral hall let's just go with that I don't really like that reverb. Um, let's add something Valhalla Supermassive. I know this is a delay, it's not a reverb, but it has got some uh, reverb presets in there. I don't like that one. I'll just choose the wide vocal one. Let's see how that works in context. Okay, the uh, loop has ended, which isn't too dire. We'll just copy paste that like we do with the rest. <laughs> uh, maybe we can improve the uh, tempo at the end. So let's um, export this, render this in place. So that would be render in place. And we'll just render this as an event without master effects. Okay, give it a go. Uh, because we can manipulate the audio far better with um, this then. Okay, let's bring this up so we can see what we're doing. And we'll have to bring this into the right key. Yeah, that's the one we need. And then we'll... Adjust the EQ. Okay, now maybe we can uh, improve the um, tempo here. And we'll have to go a, a little bit faster in the grid here. And just and why not um, bring this down? Ah, far better. And um, we'll bring back the tail here. Okay, now something bass, some bass. I'll just copy another instance here. Okay, let's just put that in. Yeah, we'll stick with that. We'll render that in place too, uh, just to have a bit more control over the uh, stuff. So we'll go to render in place, render and go. So yeah, we are 13 minutes into this recording and it's looking good so far. Of course, we're quite limited with the amount of instruments, but I always like the challenge of doing the most um, you can with the uh, little you've got. So let's just bring this sample here and copy paste that.
the volume here um, and we can adjust the curve here just let it go down a bit after time and we could uh, use some reverb on this here let's just copy the Valhalla reverb from here to uh, here just to have something going on Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can use that straight away. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. We'll use that and just copy that to the end uh, bring that down we want that very subtle in the background and we don't want any mids here okay well copy the uh, trailer piano um, bring down the atmosphere we'll just um, use this as a base now <laughs> although I know it's not a base but the challenge is to just compose with the stuff we've got here um, so yeah Last one is a D, and we'll just bring everything down and maybe just bring this down here. So, what do we have now? So, where does the sample start? That's not the beginning, no, no, yeah. Okay, so we'll just eliminate everything above, let's say, uh, 150 hertz. And give it a little bit softer entry. Okay, let's see if we've got any different sound design packs here just to give it a final touch. Let's just go through those. Oh, that's a beauty. Can we use that? Maybe something like that from the middle onwards. Here. 
Good. Um, yeah, so that's basically uh, what I could do now. Um, just using the um, trailer ambient tools by Wavelet Audio. Um, they are free. I don't know if they're free forever. So do visit the website. I'll put the link into the description. Maybe it's just free because of the um, week here, the, the, the uh, Black Friday week. Um, so yeah, let's have another listen and thank you for watching. So why not end with a rise like we did in the beginning and we'll just go into the stereo mix here and bring that down. Oh, we'll just do that in the single instruments here. We'll just uh, draw in some automation. So definitely here because there's so much reverb going on. We'll have to fade that away. And here. So we can, I'll give that one and a half bars. Yeah, don't turn yourself on again, thank you. So what's what's that uh, thing? Yeah, I will just uh, join the automation for everything here. Because why not? <laughs> okay, thanks for watching um, this little composing demo and see you next time. Bye.